So I bet all of you guys, and this is really uh, our slides, are this stuff, which was the NCGA uh, cooperative studies, what we're doing out there. Um, why does growth matter? Well, co-ops are head and shoulders above conventional in so many areas, whether it's sustainability, um, locally uh, sourced um, ecological, uh, the percentage of income to chari local charities, uh, wages. Go ahead, Joel. So I won't go through all these numbers. I, I would hate to do that to you. Um, and, um, but basically, this is the compelling why uh, for growth of co-ops. And I think we all understand. Um, we just went through the lovely health insurance thing at our co-op. Um, we're flipping the percentage of uh, part-time to full-time to mostly full-time. Um, so we're working uh, at being a model workplace, as we call it. Okay? I threw this slide in. Uh, anybody working on the 2020 initiative? 20% um, more food, locally produced food. 42,000 jobs. 2.9 billion in uh, increased economic uh, activity annually. Um, so that is something that co-ops are working hard at. The Great Lakes co-ops uh, are, are working at this as a, as a group, as a collaboration. Thank you. So what does growth look like? And I'll just share from our, our perspective um, how we worked at this um, because we want it, wanted it to look like something because folks uh, tend to get it. Um, Oriana is about 5,500 members. Uh, we're about going to be a, somewhere around 14 million in sales uh, this year. Uh, we have about 125 staff. We do stuff. Uh, we buy about 1.4 million in locally produced um, proteins, produce. We have a teacher program out in the schools teaching kids about the uh, relationship of good food and health. Uh, we do lectures. We do tours. We do a lot of support. We're, we're in a great region that has a lot of stuff going on. And Oriana is able, if we're being smart operators, if we are producing a net uh, income that keeps the, uh, the, you know, we give back to staff, we give back to the owners, we give back to the community. Um, so we are able to support many of the great things going on in our community. Um, and that is a big difference of co-ops, another compelling why. Uh, so basically, we, are, we, were, we came to a place where do we have community support? It is always uh, looking at growth. Good growth is does, uh, do we have the support of our members in the community? And that is essentially where we are right now. Um, we did a thing, uh, we did a visioning. Uh, and we created what we call Oriana Imagine 2022. So we created uh, what we felt was a clear vision of our success 10 years down the road. Just to share, this could start with anybody at your co-op. It could be the GM, it could be someone from the board, or it could be a member or staff. But it's nice to have somebody take the lead and start that vision. And we started at our co-op with a story I told to our leadership team, just the way we got the ball rolling. But what's that look, what's success look like for you and your co-op in 10 years? It's both A, a lot of fun, and it creates that, uh, a compelling um, answer to the why. It also is that thing that inspires as you bring in new members and new staff and you, and you engage the community in what makes the co-op different? Why is this model uh, so important to our, our region, our area, our town? Um, ours turned into five pages. Um, it would go to, let's say, the leadership to staff. The staff added to it the, and had questions, and, and then it came back. And uh, in our case, it was the GM looking at it and saying, is it strategically sound? Uh, is it doable? And then it would go back out into our world, going to the board. And that is how we worked at this visioning process. Um, the hovercrafts disappeared, but we still have stuff like, what's, do we have another location? We happen to have visioned another location. So we can answer that question and engage folks in the membership, in the community. We can also 
focus. It is as powerful to say, you know, that's really not in our vision. So you don't start off down paths uh, that take uh, some of the energy away of looking at that growth and good growth. Um, this worked well for us because in a, we're a, um, this is our mission statement and our ends. So if you're a policy governance board, uh, you, you get this. So again, we want to do more of this stuff and fulfill our mission. This is how we're getting there. This is the interpretation from the GM and to the board. The board saw this stuff and said, yep, fits the interpretation. So that's how it worked. If you're a policy governance board, that's how we worked it. The board did not have to create a uh, expansion or a growth ends. Lastly, I'm just gonna say keep it simple. So the five pages turned into one page of bullet points. When you're out there talking in the community, um, try to say stuff in three or four word sound bites like what we're doing is good stuff, trying to create more happy, healthy people. Um, we're keeping more money in the community, supporting more local farmers and producers, more stewardship of natural resources, focusing on fair trade, social justice, more value to staff and members. So. The way we constructed our ends, this kind of fits. Because of our co-op, why is the town, the region, the state, the world a better place? So that's how these pieces fit together and um, how we vision growth. So any questions? Hold questions. Oh, hold off any questions. Thank you. Steve, that was so awesome.